Hello guys, so once again, for today's video, I will be discussing the fingerprint classification system, which is specifically the Henry classification that was modified by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Let us now proceed with the final classification or final division under the Henry FBI classification system. Final classification involves the two little fingers or the right little finger under the block 5 and the left little finger under the block 10. And uh, it is always expressed or represented with the number and it is exhibited at the extreme right side of the classification line which is on the right of the sub-secondary classification. First rule in the final classification is that if the final classification is taken from the right little finger or the black 5, it is placed above the classification line or on the numerator. But if it is taken from the left little finger, then it will be placed below the classification line or the denominator. However, only one number will be placed in the final classification and it will be discussed on the succeeding rules in final classification. second rule in final classification is that if both fingers are loop patterns which is either radial loop or an ulnar loop we are going to use the right little finger and we are going to place it in the uh, numerator or above the classification line now if one loop is present in either the uh, right little finger or the left little finger, the priority must be, of course, the finger with a loop pattern. So in final classification, we are going to use the finger with loop pattern and that is under rule number 3. And remember again, under the rule number 1, if the classification is taken from the right little finger, it will be placed on the numerator. But if it is taken from the left little finger, the classification should be placed on the denominator. So we have here an example and uh, we have no loop pattern in the right little finger but we have a loop pattern on the left little finger so our so our final classification will now be placed on the denominator question now is what if there are no loop patterns both on the two little fingers so we have here rule number four so if both were world pattern we are going to reach count it on the right little finger and we are going to place it in the numerator now this is the only time that we are going to reach count a world pattern next rule is that if there is no loop pattern on both fingers but there is a world pattern present in either right little finger or left little finger we are going to use the finger with world pattern just like on the example that I am showing to you so we have here the right little finger is a tented arch and we have here a world pattern which is an outer so in here we are going to reach count the world pattern and place it in the denominator since we have taken it in the black pen. Maybe you are wondering how are we going to reach count the world patterns. Remember that reach count is only applicable 
among the loop patterns. However, in the final classification, this is the time that we can apply ridge count among world patterns if there are no loop patterns present in our fingerprint patterns, especially on the uh, block 5 and block 10. So first is we have here the uh, what if this is a plain world and a central packet loop world. We are going to treat it as an ulnar loop, meaning we are going to use the left delta for the right little finger, while on the left little finger, we are going to use the right delta. So we have here an example. So for instance, we have here the block 5 and the block 10. Now. We have here a world pattern, so this will be our next priority if there are no loop pattern. So it is taken from the right little finger. So how are we going to treat this as an ulnar loop? So since we are treating it as an ulnar loop, our delta will be on the right. So there, we are going to connect the delta and look for the four and then count the intervening ridges. So in this example, we have here 13 ridge count. Now, what if the world pattern is on the black 10 or it is located on the left little finger? So again, we are going to treat it as an ulnar loop. In other words, our delta will now be on the right and then again we are going to look on the core of the pattern so our ridge count for this uh, world pattern will be 14 so again since it is taken from the left little finger our final classification will be placed below the classification line or on the denominator Same rule applies again with the central packet loop world. So in this example again, the world pattern is located on the right little finger or the block 5. So we are going to treat it as an ulnar loop. Therefore, our delta will be located at the left of the uh, fingerprint pattern. So this will be our delta and the core. Now we are going to reach count. We are going to count the intervening ridges. So in this example, we have here 15 reach count. And we are going to place it on the numerator or above the classification line because it is taken from the right little finger. Now, what if our central packet loop world is present? in our block 10 so we are going to treat it again as ulnar loop so our delta will be at the right side of the fingerprint pattern so we have here we are going to connect the delta and the core and then count the intervening ridges so we have here seven intervening ridges so this will be our ridge count and this will serve as our final classification how about if the world pattern is a double loop? So our double loop world are reach counted from the left delta to the upright or the vertical loop of the double loop. So for this example, again, uh, remember, this is applicable both on the left or the right little finger. We are going to use always the left delta if it is a double loop world. And then we are going to look on the upright or the vertical loop. So we have here the vertical loop. If you can see here, we have here the vertical loop or the upright loop. So this will be the location of our core. And then we have here the left delta. We are going to connect and then count the intervening ridges. And uh, if it is taken from the right little finger, 
we are going to place it on the numerator or above the classification line. However, if this double loop world is taken or it is from the left little finger, we are going to place it on the denominator or below the classification line. Now, what if it is an accidental world? So, if it is an accidental world, we are going to reach count from the left delta for the right little finger to the nearest four. On the other hand, we are going to use the right delta for the left little finger up to the nearest four also. So in this example, we have here an accidental word. So for instance, this is in the right little finger. So we are going to use the left delta. So we have here the left delta and we are going to identify here the core. And we are going to reach count. We have here four. And since it is taken or it is under the right little finger, our final classification is placed above the classification line. Now, for instance, our accidental world is under the black ten or the left little finger. Again, we are going to use the right delta. We are going to use the right delta. And then we are going to reach count from the right delta to the nearest four. So in this example, we have here, we are going to use the right delta up to the nearest four. And again, we are going to place it below the classification line because it is taken from the left little finger. Moving on to our last rule under the final classification. So, in the absence of a loop and a word pattern, just leave it blank. Do not put a dash, just like the other division. So, I repeat, if there is no loop pattern and there is no word pattern, just leave it blank and do not put a dash. We have here an example. So on the fifth block, we have there a tented arch. And on the tenth block, we have there a plain arch. Since there is no loop or whirl pattern on both little fingers, we will just leave it blank in our classification line. So we are not going to put any dash. So if you are going to observe the most priority in the final classification is to look for a loop pattern before we proceed with the world pattern. And of course, the last is we have there an arch pattern. However, we are not going to place any representation or any symbol or number. We have here our last example under the final classification. So, it is a loop pattern on both uh, fingers, both little fingers. Of course, the priority here is on the right little finger. And uh, we are going to just copy the ridge count and place it in the classification line. So since it is taken from the right little finger, we are going to place it above the classification line. That's it for this video. So thank you again guys for watching. And I hope you will like, comment, and share this video. And please don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos to come. Hoping again guys that you will watch the videos on the following topics. Thank you once again.